I am asking, asking that we do something. My team, Freedom Press International, over the last six months has researched trends with officers who have had high, high levels of public negative contacts, many disciplinaries and complaints, but small disciplinaries from a systematic standpoint. We understand that there are systems in place to get these officers and discipline these officers, but I would say, the public would say, that right now, we're not doing the job that we should. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you an example. We researched one, the number one officer of Chicago that's had a major problem with the public is Officer Martin Teresi. Martin Teresi, badge number 11254. He works out of District 22, Morgan Park. 47 complaints and only one discipline. A $92,000 $92, litigation for excessive force. What are we doing to get these officers off the street? What are we doing? How can we do a better job? Maybe that is half of the problem. How can we restore public trust, Chief Johnson? If we have officers who are walking, ticking time bombs, and they're not doing the jobs that they're supposed to do. I'm gonna give you one more officer. Adam Zizetsky, I can't even pronounce his name. Z-E-L-I-T-Z-K-Y. Badge number 2381, District 11. 51 complaints and only one discipline. A, on top of a $70,000 excessive force misconduct lawsuit. These officers make any of these officers who are doing a good job look bad. What can we do, Chief Johnson? What can we do? Thank you, Bishop Greer. I've got two things and I'm leaving. I have one thing to say, I'm sorry. Consent decree. Consent decree. Consent decree. We need it. We need it. Speaker William